Hi, I am Sylvia Koch. I am Associate Professor in the Department of Applied Social Sciences at the City University of Hong Kong. In the previous years, I have been launching a number of positive psychology projects to the schools in Hong Kong. In recent years, there is an upsurge of positive psychology. Positive psychology changed the orientation from problem to strength. That means in the past, we focused on problem deficiency and the disease model. But positive psychology will guide us to focus on the assets, strength, potentials, and also positive values of human being. That is a strength orientation. Positive psychology, according to Professor Salomon, is the study of positive subjective experiences, positive individual traits and programs that assist in improving an individual's quality of life while decreasing the incidence of psychopathology. There are mainly three pillars of positive psychology that include positive subjective experiences, positive traits, positive institutional virtues. Positive subjective experiences comprise positive emotions such as gratitude, satisfaction, happiness, etc. And positive traits comprise the 24 character strength. Positive institution means that uh, there will be different institutions such as families, schools to nurture and cultivate the character strength of individuals. In positive psychology, we have derived a flourishing wheel that includes five pillars. That means uh, positive emotions, positive engagement, positive relationship, meaning in life and also accomplishment. Uh, below the five pillars, we have the foundations of character strength. Character strength, uh, we have about six virtues that include wisdom and knowledge, transcendence, courage, temperance, justice, and humanity. Among the six virtues, there are some examples. Uh, for example, wisdom and knowledge, there are creativity and curiosity. And within courage, there are bravery and honesty. Within humanity, we have love and kindness. And within justice, we have teamwork leadership. Uh, within temperance, we have humility, forgiveness, and within transcendence, we have spirituality, gratitude, and hope, etc. Now I would like to introduce the different projects for positive psychology. The first one is positive psychology project for preschool students. The goal of the project is to apply positive psychology framework to cultivate and nurture character strengths in preschool children for their whole person development. And also, we aim to teach the parents positive parenting approach so that they can help build up character strengths in their children. And the last goal is to promote positive education in school so that the school can provide a positive culture and environment to nurture and cultivate character strength in the students. So we have um, three main framework. The first one for the children is positive psychology. For the school is positive education and for the family is positive parenting. Among the character strengths, we have chosen eight uh, different character strengths that include uh, love, gratitude, kindness, forgiveness, which is more uh, interpersonal and also emotion oriented. And the other one is hope that is more intrapersonal. The third one is honesty that is more related to cognition and interpersonal relationship. The last one is creativity and also bravery that is related to cognition and intrapersonal relationship. By cultivating and developing children's eight character strengths, we hope to increase their satisfaction and achievement and finally to make them live a flourishing life. The project is funded by Quality Education Fund and we collaborate with five nurseries and three kindergartens from Chinese Venice Church Early Education Session. 
That is the whole school approach. That means about 800 students benefit from the project. And our positive psychology groups are catered for 200 K2 students. And we have two parenting workshops for about 400 parents. Lastly, we have three training workshops for about 100 teachers. Next, I would like to introduce the positive psychology project for junior primary school students. The project is uh, done in collaboration with the student guidance team in Donghua group of hospitals. We launch parents group and also children's groups. Each group has four sessions and the two groups have uh, two hours for parents and also one and a half hour for the children. There are about six to eight parent-child diets participating in the project. We have the courage spirit. That is, we, um, we have four sessions. The first session is about nurturing courage spirit. That is to arouse the children's awareness and acceptance of their own emotion. The second session is about capturing of the anxiety monsters. That is to let them learn how thinking affects emotions. The first session is learning five strategies. That is to teach them how to deal with anxiety. The last session is a combination of the parents group and also the children group. That is to consolidate their knowledge learned in the project. Next is the positive psychology project for senior primary school students. The project aims to enhance the hope among the students to cultivate their sense of agency and goal attainment and also to facilitate the students' design of different pathways to achieve the goal. The second goal is to promote self-gratitude as well as gratitude and emotional expression to others. The project is done in collaboration with St. James Settlement. There are a total of five groups of six to eight P4 to P5 students from five primary schools. The students have hospital anxiety and depression score from 9 to 11, and match control groups were recruited. There were a total of eight sessions, and each session lasted for about one and a half hour. A variety of activities were conducted in the groups, including experiential exercises, simulation games, storytelling, role play, drawing, guided imagery, discussion, and also sharing. Cognitive behavioral coaching was incorporated in the design of the activities. Next is the positive psychology project for primary and secondary school students. The project aimed to increase opportunities in decision making and problem solving for the children and adolescents and also enhance their individual autonomy and environmental mastery and strengthen their resilience. It also aimed to develop their positive relationship with others, enlarge their social and supportive network, and help them to find out and establish positive purpose toward their lives and strive for a flourishing life. The theoretical framework is psychological well-being and it includes six elements, autonomy, environmental mastery, personal growth, positive relations with others, purpose in life, and self-acceptance. The project is done in collaboration with the Chinese Venice Church Social Services. There are about eight to 12 students in one group, and we have about five groups. Interactive games, positive activities, experiential exercises, role play, video appreciation and sharing were conducted within the group. Example of the theme and content of activities are, for example, personal growth. Uh, we aim to let the children understand their feeling and emotion and also establish positive emotions. For positive relations, we help them to identify their roles in the group and appreciate others. For environmental mastery, we help them to understand the source of anxiety and also help them to learn to transform negative emotions into positive ones. 
Lastly, for purpose in life, we help them to search for happiness and establish their sense of accomplishment, also to learn to set goals. The next project is positive psychology project for the junior secondary school students. The goal of the project is to help the depressed students to be aware, learn, experience and apply gratitude so as to raise their positive emotions and help them develop a positive life orientation. The second is to teach them effective emotion management skills so that they can change their negative thinking and emotion into positive ones. Other goals of the project is to increase the students' awareness on their own character strengths so as to raise their self-esteem and also to facilitate them to act as ambassadors and spread the messages of developing positive emotions and positive life orientations to other classmates. The theoretical framework incorporates positive psychology concepts such as gratitude, character strengths, and also cognitive behavioral therapy concepts that include positive thinking and emotions. The project is done in collaboration with four secondary schools served by St. James Settlement. There are about 92 grade 8 to grade 9 students participating in the project. We have uh, the, about 46 in the exper experimental group and 46 in the control groups. The project is implemented by four school social workers and there are a total of 10 group sessions. Pre-test and post-test questionnaires are completed by the students from both the exper experimental and control groups. Program content of the project includes the themes of emotion management, character strengths and also gratitude. Another project on positive psychology for junior secondary school students incorporate the music therapy elements. The goals of the project is to increase hope, emotional competence and problem solving skills of grade 8 and grade 9 students by integrating elements of music therapy and positive psychology. It is hoped that by doing the groups they will decrease anxiety and increase happiness. 10 session groups integrating positive psychology and music therapy was conducted for 88 students in three secondary schools. And other groups were conducted with 70 students in another three secondary schools, but only with the positive psychology elements. Pre-test and post-test measures were collected while comparison was made with students in the control school. Okay, and the next project is the positive psychology project for senior secondary school students. The project is done in collaboration with 10 secondary schools. The project included different types of student activities, for example, the classes, workshops, school-based activities, and also training for teachers and parents. It aims to relieve anxiety by incorporating character strength, hope and optimism in the classroom curriculum. The theoretical framework of the project is to develop character strengths, increase optimism, increase hope, so as to decrease anxiety and increase happiness. There are three steps to the positivity of uh, individuals. We adopt the cognitive therapy model that is, uh, we have the activating events, the belief leading to positive thinking or negative thinking with the consequence of positive emotion or negative emotion. There are a total of three steps. Step one is to identify negative thoughts that include mind reading, personalization and overgeneralization. Step two is to dispel the negative thoughts. For example, we will ask the students, what evidence do you have for or against a thought? What other explanations can you come up with the thoughts? What will others in your position think? And is it really as worse as you imagine? And what are the benefits of the new thinking and disadvantages of the old thinking? Step three is to transform negative thinking to positive ones 
by infusing power and hope into the thinking. Now comes to the positive psychology projects for families. We have the board game based on the Bowen theory. The aims of the games is to understand the level of differentiation of oneself and family members and also to promote in-depth sharing, cooperation and interactions among the family members. The game can be played by the children and also the parents together. Another game is based on the Satya theory. The aims of the board game is to promote communication and interaction among the family members to strengthen their self-awareness, enhance their mutual understanding among family members, and also help the family members establish more intimate relationship by learning effective communication skills. Another introduction is about uh, a computer game. The computer game is based on Satya theory, and the aims of the games are to identify one's own communication stances when faced with pressure, learn appropriate ways to express love to the family members. The other game is a computer game based on Bowen theory. The aims of the Bowen games are, help, are to help the families understand intergenerational emotional transmission in the family and their impacts, and also to help them understand marital relationships and general dynamics of the whole family. There are two articles that are related to positive psychology being posted in a slide. We also established a positive education training and research unit with the website posted in the slide. And the last slide is uh, about the uh, email address and also the telephone number of my office. Thank you.